name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round two of the Midwest Scrubby Dubby Down. This round, I am I am joined by my good friend, the real fun Bobby. Well, hello, hello, hello. All right. All the way from California. This was not planned whatsoever. It just so happened to be a fun Bobby in the room. <laughs> uh, fun Bobby randomly shows up in the most awkward of places. <laughs> that's right. Now, before we go anywhere, I want to remind you, even though we had brand new rules and points for everything drop yesterday, uh, they, were, they are not going to be live for today's tournament. Uh, so we are, this is kind of, this is our last hurrah with the old stuff stuff here at GSP. Uh, I know some people had been commenting, well, go, that, that doesn't say that they're legal to June 15th. The reality is we're going to play with them. We're going to play with, play with it right now. Yeah, just 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 go for it. Um, I would honestly expect the Richmond Open to use the new rules um, because people have a week now, a week to to get their 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 stuff together. So um, turn it into the Wild West, even though it's on the East. That's that's right. <laughs> so uh, we have here Kevin Norton versus Richard Lee. We have the Scum and Villainy versus. The Empire. Fun Bobby's going to go ahead and break it down while I get everybody else at home to choose their champion. All right, let's start with uh, one of my two favorite factions here. Let's start with the Imperials. We've got Whisper with Fifth Brother and Targeting Computer. Not a bad choice. Major Vendor with Saturation Salvo, Fire Control System, Proton Torpedoes, Advanced Slam, OS-1 Arsenal Loadout, and Cluster Missiles. Lieutenant Psy with Fire Control System, Emperor Palpatine, and the ST-321. And Night Beast as the nice little two-point filler ship. For the Scum and Villainy side, we've got Maul running Hate, Jabba the Hutt, Queel, Kira, Veteran Tail Gunner, Contraband Cybernetics, Drop Seat Bay, Knight Brother, and Swivel Wing. We have a nice little two-point ship in Ahav. Sabine Wren with Ahsoka Tano and Shadowcaster title. Sabine flying the Shadowcaster this time. Mm -hmm. And Manaru running Notorious, Auto Blasters, Overtuned Modulators, and Punishing One. Hey, this is going to be the last time we see Auto Blasters for a while, isn't it? No, yeah. Another card that's going to be on the ban list. Yep, and a couple of people had been mentioning uh, well, what, what's the point of Jabba the Hutt with uh, contraband and overturn modulators. You could still you could still do that in today's. There's no uh, none of those things apply, you know, for uh, for this tournament. We already said that, but just to apply, just to remind you there. Also, looking at the table, for some of you who may be newer to the game, maybe you just started in X-wing 2.5. You may notice there are ships on the table. That aren't legal. That's because we're playing extended. We're playing extended format. Uh, there are still things that are banned, uh, but we were playing that extended format. And I, I called out Richard, and I was like, hey, you have a Lambda, a Whisper, and a Gumbo, Alpha Class Pursuit. I said, L let's go. Let's make it happen. Gunboats in the chat, people. Mm-hmm. Are cards banned in extended? Yes. There are cards that are banned in extended. Auto Blasters will be one of those upcoming banned mm -hmm. cards and extended. It's too good. It's too good. Somebody says Saturation Salvo. Weird. Let's so go I, ahead and... I, actually, I, I, Saturation Salvo is a name I've not heard in a long time. So let's take a look. Saturation Salvo. While you perform a torpedo or missile attack, you may spend one charge from that upgrade. If you do, choose two defense dice. The defender must reroll those defense dice. So I mean, it's just trying to make those um, proton those torpedoes, proton torpedoes those cluster missiles be hit a little harder against high agility ships. Oh, shout out to Crydove donating five subs in the chat. Thank you so much as we climb towards our goal for the weekend. And uh, as a reminder, if we don't hit the goal for this weekend, it just rolls over. The ro the prizes will roll over into, uh, into next weekend, and we give it another shot. All right. We have five rounds of play today. Four tomorrow with the cut. Then I jump in my car and drive back to Chicago for graduation on Monday. 
graduation on Monday sounds like fun. That's right. It's going to be good. Take the orchestra. It'll be fantastic. And it means summer break right after that. Very close. Very close. <laughs> oh, we got some jockeying up here. I'm not sure where he's going down here with Cy. Mm -hmm. Now, the scenario for this one is salvage mission. You did see that in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, this is the one where you have the crates that you can pick up. You see you have those, uh, those tokens. Richard has, has successfully picked up two of them. And it appears that Kevin's picked up two as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that scenario, those scenario actions going. And we have our first attack here. Two crits from downtown. No, wait, what? Hit crit crit. Um, who is shooting here, though? <laughs> So this is going to end up being Would this be whisper shot? Or mall shot into whisper? Oh, oh no, this, this is Vinder. Vinder shot. Tetration Salvo causing the reroll. Got the squiggle anyway. All right. And with those crits there, you're forced to drop the crate. That's a good program to have if you're on, uh, if you're Richard Lee. Prevent those points from being scored. All right. Got it. Drops it within range zero to one. Put it in a spot where you can scoop it up or in a spot where your opponent can't grab it. I think I would have put it behind. I would have put it to the side or behind, yeah. not necessarily in front. That leaves mm -hmm. too much room for him to do like a one bank and still pick it up. Mm -hmm. Manaru being a little lower initiative. I mean, he's got Night Beast that he can swoop in and try and pick it up with. Maybe the... No, I don't even think the three hard gets him there. All right, and they're ready to go on to round two. Scenario scoring here. So Richard probably scores two here. Mm -hmm. Kevin scores one. That's not too shabby there. Yep. And there we go. So looking at our choose your champion poll to see where the people are, deadlocked, 50-50. How does that work? 50-50. And uh, shout out here, before I forget, shout out to the Midwest Scrubcast. They're the ones that invited us uh, to this event. And they gave, they gave us some swag to add to the mystery boxes. So if you win a mystery box today, I can't guarantee that you're getting this stuff. But I can guarantee that somebody will end up with the stuff. We got the uh, we have a Midwest Scrubcast coin, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's see if I can pull uh, pull up this camera here real quick. Okay. Uh, nope, not gonna work. Okay, that's all right. Well, anyway, uh, it has an absolutely fantastic thing on the front. You have the uh, the logo. For the Midwest Scrubcast. On the back, you have a dumpster fire happening. A dumpster fire. With the following quote. The strongest iron is forged in the fire of a dumpster. Fantastic. <laughs> I sent a picture of it to my wife, and she's already begging me to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and talk about win conditions in salvage mission. Every turn that you're holding on to one of those crates, you're getting points. Um, and the, the timer on this game can go by pretty quickly. So you want to make sure that you're, you're prioritizing the crates and you got to make sure that you, you are actually firing at a ship that you can damage. Uh, one of my things I'm starting to understand with Maul is he's really tanky. It's really tanky. He has the force. He has hate, so he's able to regen those uh, force really quickly. And another absolutely awesome 
piece of tech on him is Queel. Queel Crew, as an action, roll one attack die for each damage card you have. For each hit result, repair a face-up ship damage card. Then for each crit result, repair one face-down damage card. For each blank result, remove one orange token. Then for each focus result, gain a focus token. So, I mean, Maul has regen built into him with that action. You got Kira for movement... Um, movement options over uh, over obstacles though this setup is not really going to be an issue for him um it's i don't know it gives him the opportunity to make that hard left if he gets that target lock and yeah. that rock in the middle up by whisper mm -hmm. it leaves all of that lane open for him to go hunt the bigger ships yeah uh, as for as for points i think you uh if you're gonna take out a ship though i, I think i don't think richard has enough time to take out Maul with his ships not all focusing on him right now. The way the spread out that he has right now, uh, I think his best chances is probably get points out of Manaru. He needs to hunt Manaru fast. Yeah. And I think Whisper's in a bad spot right now to be hunting Manaru because mm -hmm. he stayed cloaked and chose not to decloak this he system phase. He did. He did. He's afraid. Whether that was a missed opportunity or not, that decloak could have been important. Target lock with that targeting computer. What are the tokens we have down there? Are those little metal tokens on uh, that table? I'm not a fan. <laughs> it's probably an evade. Uh, or a focus. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the evade wait. would be on, on Whisper, mm -hmm. but I think we might have a focus token over here on uh, the Lambda shuttle. It's a surprise. Token a surprise. surprise. Token surprise. We, we get an opportunity... <laughs> Is it like a soup? Yeah, <laughs> yes. We get an opportunity to learn about it later. Do the one straight, pick up the box. Mm -hmm. So that lands cleanly. It looks like we do have Overtune Modulator uh, Calculates over there for Manaru. So she is modded. Mm hmm And has the ability to yeet it over to uh to a friend as need be. Where's Sabine going? Gonna three bank around the rock there. Does Whisper have a container? She does not. Lieutenant Sai has one and uh Vinder has the other one. Let's see. And here we go. Vendor flipping that dial. One straight. One huh? straight. Does he have a range one missile? Does I not. Do not believe he does. I think I would just slam here. There's no reason to. I guess, right, right. I guess you're getting either shot by Manaru or range one. Was reloading, huh? Interesting choice. Oh, he's got he's got cluster missiles. He's got cluster missiles. Oh, look at those on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a three dice attack. So, uh, and he doesn't have anybody else in his arc. It's not a huge deal. No. Here we go. Whisper with the three bank. Not going to be able to shoot though. Still currently cloaked, and uses her ability. Her, excuse me, her action to scoop up the box. I think that's the reason why he stayed cloak. He's prioritizing the point for the, the box. The points of the box versus getting a shot this And turn. having that cloak with those extra defense dice mm -hmm. makes him makes her a little uh little more defensive. Yep. Although eating a range one shot in the back from Maul doesn't sound very nice. Could be a bad day. And cue the thunder outside. That's right. That's right. 
Maul says, I'm coming in and I'm bringing the thunder with me. Has anybody tried putting these gauntlets on an epic peg? I think it might work a little better. It may be easier to move. You have like something to grab onto rather than like the ship. Like a whole handle? Yeah. I mean, because like, you have the, the, the epic peg. Is, you know, it's big enough for a handle. I believe we saw a focus go down there. And here we go. Mall range one. Big Ooh, money. Spend the three force. Three crits and a focus is not to be messed with. Nope. Uh, so he has he does have four defense dice, so he needs all paint here. Uh, he needs more than all paint, because I don't believe he has a focus token. Ooh. But that'll stop three of them if he spends the evade. Oh, he's got fifth brother. Fifth brother in the evade, and yeah. he takes nothing. That's maybe he didn't. Maybe it, it must be a focus. Not it must a, be a focus. Yeah. So drops the box. Has to be within range one of Whisper. I mean, at that point, do you put it right out in front of Whisper so Night Beast has that nice turn to pick it up? The TIE Phantom doesn't have a target lock action, correct, but does have targeting computer, which gives it a target lock action. So it looks like here, Kevin's strategy, deciding to put that salvage as far away from Whisper as possible, giving Sabine an uh, opportunity next turn to scoop it up. That is a good place for Sabine to do a hard turn in and swoop mm -hmm. up on that box. Because she's got, she's got nothing threatening her. The, the Lambda might turn in, but I, I don't think Are you, don't are think you so. worried about that Lambda if you're Sabine? No. No, you're fine. Everything's fine. PC Chapel, 44 months, Prime Gaming. Thank you so much, my friend. So this must be Vendor? Uh, yes. With fire Vin control with system fire for control three? System. On the defense dice, one squiggle. Going to be taking two there on Manaru. Is there anything she can do? I don't think there's anything She's Manaru can do She's got Notorious. Okay. Oh, Saturation Salvo to... But is he firing with a missile? Uh, I can't see the charges to tell. That appears to be a cluster missile shot. Was there an errata for for? Not that I'm aware of. It's but it's for not saturation solo. Not a card I've heard in a while. So it is. <laughs> I just want to double check. Uh, I see you, Sojmoj. I see you. <laughs> One second. Uh, you know what? Let me just go. All right, I'll be right back. And 
and the blank goes back into a blank with the saturation salvo requiring both dice to need to be re-rolled. Dion over saving the day at the table. Results stand the same. But we did it right. But it was done correctly. I'm a lawman. Got to follow the rules. Except when I'm not, but that, we don't have to talk about that. I don't recall, Your Honor. <laughs> now, that is the downside to Saturation Style, though. It's no wonder I don't see that card played very often. Right, yeah. If it was if it was picking, that's so why I was like, man, that seems really good. Why don't more people use that? It's exactly too. Well, now we know why. <laughs> yeah. No, please don't re-roll that blank into an evade. Yeah. I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay, so Manaru. We have a judge call at the table. Not sure exactly what's happening. Dion's going over to help take care of sorting out whatever questions these gentlemen have. So the confusion here is that uh, Kevin's learning that punishing one does not apply for auto blasters because it's a primary weapon versus a secondary weapon. Hello there. I think we're on. I think we're on to something. We are. <laughs> Are we choosing an auto blaster shot or are we choosing a primary shot here? It has to be auto blaster because the arc the target is to the side. Is, okay. Yeah, so we, his arc is to the or his uh, rotating arc. Got it. Looks like three hits. Seems good. Mm-hmm. And Vinder got Natties. it. Natties. Plinking away one at a time. Vinder takes one. It's cool. We got we he got shields. No problem. No problem. He can eat that one. He said that tasted good. <laughs> now Sabine does have a range three here on Lieutenant Sai. I'm surprised Lieutenant Sai is not more in the fray because of her ability, but we'll uh, we'll see what we get here. Uh, two hits. And we're spending a lock to re rolled one. Out, Out of the, the box. box. Do it again. Hey, three there hits. We have three. Sabine, you're going to get at least one. It was a range three shot. And the blank out. Must have been range two. Three shields down. One shield. And now, uh, Night Beast into Manaru, range one. The beastliest knight. Two hits. Make it three. Somebody forgot to die. That's right. <laughs> Plus one. Ooh. And going to take him at least one, right? Because he's got the over two modulators doing some work there. Over two modulators being really clutch to help Manaru out here. And it looks like two more cards. Look, we may have missed an attack earlier. So 
So with three cards, Jump Master's at base six, right? I believe so. All right, cool. All right. And that's going to be the end of the turn. After that, we're on to turn four. So we're going to go ahead and update the score here. It's a score of four to three. So it appears Richard picked up two more. And Kevin picked up two as well. That lone center box still fighting it out in the middle. Right. Oh, somebody knocked my camera slightly to the Well, left. I guess they're demoted then. <laughs> Squadron M says, I've always wanted to figure out a Sabine Lancer, but can never find something satisfactory. Yeah, you were always uh, with the Sabine, even in first edition, you were just always, a, like, it, it got too expensive. You, you, you're like, oh, wait, I can make this work if I'm able to put all these upgrades in it. And I was too, either too expensive because it was built in, like, you paid for the upgrade points, if you remember that previously. And then the current system, you're just like, oh, I need all these points, but you don't have enough loadout to do it now. Or the value for her her squad cost of six, uh, not quite there. Mm, I think a little more loadout and she might be playable at six. But not at the current cost. Yeah. Give Sabine more toys. Let her blow up more stuff. <laughs> so speaking of Sabine, right, the... Um, she, I believe, got her crew card in Rebels is for... Future tournaments with the new rules. Has, uh, has joined banned, the ban right? list? Banned. Ooh, I did Gone. not see that one yet. I believe, uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, did Trajectory Simulator get banned too? I heard Tragedy Simulator has been has been offed. It's, <laughs> You're out of here. That's right. They, I, I, I foresee a, um, we've been talking about for a while, Resistance Bomber only. Acceptable. Card. Right? Acceptable. Like it's it's pretty garbage. <laughs> like, give it give it give it some function. And I'm not sure giving it a tragedy simulator helps it. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're right, but I mean at least it makes it unique. Ooh, hit hit Ooh, crit there. there. I think is this uh, this might be play player role player role. So Richard's the first player. Oh, you know those wasted those those horrible player roles that are so amazing. You get excited. <laughs> yeah. And then you realize you're not supposed to be excited about it. <laughs> PH Chapel, Mandalorians, always being kept down. Yeah, it's the B Wing's fault, let's be honest. It's yeah. the B Wing's fault. No, it's Hera's fault. <laughs> it's always Hera's fault. <laughs> Alright, getting Manaru out the way so that Night Beast can do his thing. It appears Night Beast is carrying one of the crates, so getting out of Dodge mm -hmm. seems like a good plan there. Hold on to my points. <laughs> Termino says resistance bom bomber loadout is terrible. Yeah, I mean, I... I most likely they weren't even looked at for the current update, but I would think that if and when it comes around again. If, if it comes I, around I have again. To say, I, you know, I, if I'm thinking with my business brain, you ha I have to have a reason to re-release re the Resistance Bomber, which is bad, wasn't played when it was legal anyway. Uh, even in never, second never edition. Never made a splash in first edition. At never the very end, you had a couple of people who figured out some stuff with it. Invincible was about it. Right. And there, there were moments of brilliance, but only in a one-off one right. 
tournament randomly. Nothing of major success. And then the you know, and then you got you know second again, edition Star, Star Wars fans. They hate Star Wars, so there's, of course we there's do. the 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 Resistance bomber is in one of the most divisive Star Wars films, right? Is where it comes from. Though it's like the only one where we got a new ship, we got something new. I don't have to tell you how I feel about the the, the Last Jedi. We had this conversation a few years ago, <laughs> and, and a and a year after that, yeah. and the year after that. <laughs> It's always a fun conversation. That's right. It's okay to be wrong, too, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I will tell you, the, the Star Wars content I'm excited for, you, we got Obi-Wan Kenobi in a couple of weeks. We got... Uh, I'm chomping at the bit for some Obi. Yeah. And I really want to see Cassian. I want to see that, that, that show get, get going. All right, here we go. It looks like Sabine has decided to not go for the, uh, the crate here. So I'm surprised. Sabine says, I want to eat some Psy. And in that position, she's wound up to shoot him hard. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, yeah, the silencer, uh, the silencer is also a new ship and the, uh, the transport. So there were three new ship designs in that one. It's kind of like it was a well-rounded Star Wars movie that had like a lot of different things. But no, no, no. But no, I'm not saying that it was the best one ever. I'm saying I liked it. And we're gonna move on. <laughs> Good and enjoyable are not always the same thing. <laughs> I point everyone to Army of Darkness for my example. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did we finally? We, didn't, we still haven't decloaked with that phantom, have we? No, we're trying to be in the way. We're trying to be in the way, trying to re reach. Oh, is he at range one there to pick up that? Sure is. Look at that. Oh, somebody thinks. Uh, clever, clever boy. Not getting shots a good idea. Okay, no, no more actions for Whisper. She used it to pick up the crate. So you can tell Richard is is locked in on picking up those, uh, picking up those crates. He wants to score points. Oh, activating contraband on Maul. <laughs> Evil Monkey Lord saying there are many cool baby Grogu. Outfits on there. Yes, my second daughter is baking. She's due in November. Do we have a date in November? Uh, November 19th. Uh, that's too late. It's not the best birthday yet. <laughs> well, when's, your, when's your birthday? November 5th. November 5th. Remember, my mother, remember my the 5th of November. <laughs> <laughs> my mother's is on the 9th. So my mom was like... A good Scorpio. Yeah. yeah. We're all looking at it. And to the uh, engagement phase. Whisper's not shooting, so we're on to Maul. Yep, Whisper no shot. Maul. Range one into Whisper here. <laughs> Big punch. Swing oh! for the fences. <laughs> Four hits. Ooh. We need those four uh, can, days. Can to... Whisper get away with this again? Two Only takes blanks. two. Takes two more. It's going to be half points. You don't get points for it, though. Still left on two. Mm. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. Well, that's a little risky on Richard's part, though. He's really leaning into those scenario points and not taking defensive actions. That's, that's scary. And he doesn't look like he's in a great place to decloak at the moment. Without that collision detector now. Here we go. Cluster missiles. One hit. Fire control for the reroll. 
Spending the target oh, lock instead of the FCS. Can you? Oh, he's not. He's not. Uh, he's not disarmed. He's not disarmed. I think that's all you got. And he palpatines the last hit. Natty's, Natty. baby. You said three hits? Three, three hits? hits? How about this? Two evades. Take one. One is it. Plink, plink, plink. All right. Saturation salvo. Eh, he gets to take two then. So, but, but, but Manamaru lives. That's massive. So saturation salvo getting another, uh, another damage. Ooh, side shot into Manaru. Looks from, unobstructed. From downtown. Definitely unobstructed at range three. One out the box. Hit, Hit crit. crit. And, and got enough. it. Manaru refuses to die. She says, I'm here to help friends. I'll take the shots. <laughs> DJ Umeo. Or Dejumwa. Thank you so much. Hello there. Dejumo? Dejumo is probably. Dejumo. And a whiff there. Spend the focus for one. Manaru retaliating Ooh. and. Sneaks one in. Okay. Vinder is down all his shields now. No, sorry, that wasn't Vinder. That was Sai. Looking at Sabine shot into Sai here now. Range one. Flanking, I believe. A potpourri of flavors in those dice right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Two hits, two crits in the side. All of it. What do we get? What's in the box? Oh, we have oh. a fuel leak. Yes. Oh, and the fuel leak activates immediately. They're just double checking. I didn't catch what the second crit was, did you? I didn't catch what the second crit is either. I don't think they said. Panic pilot, maybe? Stun pilot? They're just double checking how it works. Stunned. And he drops the box there, so not going to get to score that for Richard. Are you guys going to talk about the rules update? I mean, we we can chat about it. We're doing a full breakdown on Monday. Like I said, I was driving uh, when it dropped on Friday when everybody was digging in all together. And I was none the wiser, just driving. Having a good time. Having a good time. Listening to a podcast. That's right. <laughs> Take, taking pictures underneath the arch, walking around Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Behaving like a tourist? Is that Wait, allowed? I was behaving like a tourist. I know. I normally, when I do these trips, I don't have time to do any touristy stuff. I understand the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get in, do the thing, and get out. I would I would have done touristy things out here, but it keeps raining on me. Right. So I came to hang out with friends instead, which seems like a better true. deal. I lucked out yesterday. It was beautiful. Yesterday was a gorgeous day. Thursday was not gorgeous. <laughs> oh, no. Just yesterday. 
Uh, is this a tournament? It is. It's round two of the Midwest Scrub Down, brought to you by the Midwest Scrub Cast. Drop me a rule. Drop me a new rule, and I can give you. I'll give you my opinion. Dion reacts. Ooh, live reacts are always live fun. Live reacts. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to to dig into the points and see see what changed. Um, we did a we did a few weeks worth of like breaking down tiers for ships and stuff, and with all this, it's all right. Erase the board. Here Start we go over. again. Start all over. <laughs> New ion rules. Ooh, there's new ion rules. What is it? Do you know what the new ion rules I are? I do not know the new ion rules. What? What is it? Tell me. Tell me. Give me some copy pasta. <laughs> copy pasta in the chat. Right here. Now, looking at the positioning right now, Whisper, like, like we had mentioned before, probably doesn't have space to decloak. You might have space to, uh, like, possibly in this direction. That's a little bit risky to do, though. I think you just. I don't know that that decloak fits, and the decloak forward puts you on the rock, the decloak right puts you on the rock. That's a bad position for Whisper. The decloak right to the left and back might be the only one that fits. This is where Echo is better. Oh, wow. That is completely different. I mean, so during the activation phase, an ionized ship activates as follows. The ionized ship skips its reveal dial step. During the execute maneuver step, the ionized ship flips its maneuver dial face up and executes an ion maneuver with the same direction shown oh. on the dial. Bank ion turn ion maneuvers. Oh. Sign me up for that. Okay. So it's... it's but you also... It also breaks all locks that you have. So they gave it... Made a little bit more punishing and a little bit Beneficial. more forgiving yeah. at, at the same time. You get a little bit more maneuverability, but you lose your, your target locks. Okay. I'm in. I think... Now, does that break all locks on you as well as the locks you have on other people? Well, the way that they have it worded, at least here, this is you cannot acquire or maintain locks. All right. So... And then Connor, Net, and Ion missiles all went up by two points. I'm not surprised there. No, Ions have always been good. And as soon as they, whenever they just bring it just a little bit cheap enough for you to bring it, instantly all of them show up. Sai doing a nice little one bank here. Still no justice for droids, especially since most can't bank. You know what, Epionic? I would guess... I would guess, depending on the wording, that the hard turn on the dial might count for the bank. It is, it is a directional it's, it's, turn. Exactly. Because if, if this was a copy pasted from the rules, it says direction, moving in the direction. So if you pointed just a hard to the left, you should be able to ionize to the left. I, I, don't, I don't think it punishes the droids. Is, is the... Uh The rules for grappling struts, how is that worded? Because that, I believe, is a directional as well mm -hmm. to turn 90 degrees to the yeah. left or right. So would it be the same thing? Yeah, could be. Yeah, those are copy pasted. Cool. All right, little bumping action here for Sabine. Gonna take uh, the red focus. She's gonna wait for Vinder to pop into her arc and she'll just shoot Vinder. Mm -hmm. She's fine with that. <laughs> She's like, everything's fine here, everything's fine here. How are you? Mm -hmm. 
Bender probably three banking. No, oh, one, one bank. bank. Keeping it slow. I think we're going to get some proton torpedo action here, though. Does he still have... Does he still have any charges on that? He sure does from the bottom. He's got one. So, for everybody watching, there is a lunch break after this game. Just so that you're aware, there is a there is a lunch break. I think they had said 30 minutes. That's what they had told me right. as well. So that means it'll be about 45 minutes. <laughs> or an hour. Or an hour. It's hit an hour before. That's, a, that's acceptable as well. You're right. You're right. So we'll, we'll see. Still not decloaked. It's the three bank tries to get out of dodge. Well, you know what? Ahav has just been kind of chilling over there in the corner, racking Not up points. So, Whisper next turn will have an offensive avenue. Evade action. A nice D cloak to the left and a bank turn to the right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm laughing. Uh, Soj Moj says, roll <laughs> dice to determine uh, lunch break length and then don't tell the players. That's, that's, that's not a jab at, at, a jab at, F, at AMG at all. <laughs> Do the players need to know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Just have, it, have a bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> It looks like they have a question about something. So I believe we got a target lock from Vinder. They're going through target priority right now. Over there, peeking, peeking at the table, seeing what's going on. Looking for components. Oh, there we go. Yeah, missing, missing target, target lock. lock. Oh, so we did the hard stop with Maul. It appears Richard forgot about Job of the Hut. Mm-hmm. Contraband keeps coming back. <laughs> do it again. Do let's, it again. Let's stay here. No, it's we can do it again. Such a good combo. I think they were saying with the new rules that that might not be possible anymore. Jabba and Contraband. I don't know if they eroded something. Let me know. Those of you, again, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Focus. Poor Jabba finally see him play and just to be told no. <laughs> Jabba band. Jabba. <laughs> Jabba band is. Ah, uh, contraband's charges cannot be uh, regained. They added text. They. Arata. Here we go. Single hit. Veteran tail gunner shot into Whisper. You got this. He took an evade. This is why he took it. It was you only took one an hit. evade. You also have a. Uh, you have the force. But which did you spend? So did he decide to take the damage on Whisper? I'm not a hundred percent sure there. Or he spent the force to prevent it. Or they re-rolled the attack for some reason. I'm not sure what happened there.
This side. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure either. <laughs> Trying to decipher the uh, the sidelines of the game can be yeah, a little complicated. Yeah, they're, they're talking. They're talking very quietly as well. Not quite the boisterous personalities that you and I are. <laughs> <laughs> One crit coming in from somewhere. Fire control system with the reroll hit crit. And um, so get to add a focus results. Spend the focus. Spend the focus and prevent two. No damage. the model to end all models back where it belongs. Mm -hmm. There will never be a bigger one. Parked in the middle of the board to stay for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Next shot. Spending the force for one. Takes a strain there. On Sai, I believe, right? Yes. And that was uh, with Notorious. Range two from Manaru into Sai. Using that side arc. One eyeball, one blank. He got the focus, but... Notorious reroll because he's strained. Two eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And it has a focus out there. Spend the focus and get two. So that'll just be two hits because of the single agility. I think that takes Sai out, according to my that, count. That's where I'm at. Maybe not. <laughs> Are we still at the same initiative, though? Ah, that might be the reason why. Okay. Yeah, because Manaru shot him, so he still gets a shot. Mm. Hit crit goes into Vendor. It is a direct hit. Ends at the Slamma Jamma himself. So Vendor should be down to two. Yep. Sai drops his box mm -hmm. after being destroyed. And going to go range one as far away as you can. Now, before we forget, I want to say thank you, Bobby, for hanging out with me these couple rounds. I know you got to jump on a plane, take you and your pups back to uh back to california back back to sunny beautiful <laughs> weather tax heavy california
because unsurprisingly, I will be at a dog show tomorrow morning as well. There you go. <laughs> no in rest ca- in for California the wicked, right? as well? Oh, yeah. 20 minutes from the house. Nice. Well, that's a, that was a little bit of an easier travel. A little bit of an easier travel day. <laughs> All right. Two hits. Coming in here, this is... Spend the focus and take nothing. Night. That was a night beast. Night beast into, into mall. Into mall. mall there. I my brain registers this as an imperial ship. That's why I'm having trouble seeing it. Like, who was he shooting? All his friendlies are there. My brain hasn't registered as it as a ship yet because it fits <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, wait, which one is it today? All right, let's double check our scores here. So imperials are holding two. Scum are holding two. I think we missed a round of box counting. Ah, uh, we probably did. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But this is why this is why we've implemented this uh, the round counter the on the, the table. Round, the round counter and the score. They're actually not doing the rounds. Which oh, are they not is, doing the rounds fine. up They're there? They're doing the score, but that's the score is more important. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and keeping track of your score between the rounds is a good thing. Mm-hmm. And then Antonio said, look at the drop cut, the, 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 the back drop. That's right. So you're Richard Lee here. What are you doing to try and f- get back into this game? You're down four points right now. Manaru's not worth enough. Not without, the, you know, if you, unless you strip all the boxes off your opponent's ships, mm-hmm. just killing Manaru's not enough. Manaru and Sabine's super healthy. Sabine's super healthy. Maul is super healthy. Well, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, killing Manaru ties. Yeah, 12, but the 12. boxes, they keep you tied. You need to, where do you get your advantage? Do you, can you kill Ahav here? 12. Can you get damage into Ahav and force him the right way? So let's see. So this is Richard's, right? Yeah. Richard. Do you decloak? Richard. Kevin. Kevin. So right now, right now they're even. They're even on because no, nobody has this one. Yeah, we're we're yet. two and two. So killing gets you tied. Richard needs to get Ahav. Yes, that's his win condition right now. Go kill with Ahav ten, with, with ten, ten minutes, minutes left. left. Yeah, these guys let him shoot out the butt. Vinder needs to race around and get away from these Proton two. Proton torpedo. Proton <laughs> torpedo. He needs to kill Manaru first. Yep. And then get back over here to kill Ahav. He needs to race in with uh, Night Beast there and get away from being shot at by Maul. Because mm-hmm. Maul could turn, on, turn in on him right now. Very quickly. And with all those contraband cybernetics, he's still going to have his actions. Mm-hmm. He's still going to be powerful. Now, with nine minutes left on the clock, I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. Use code GSP for 15% off. You can do that today, tomorrow, and even on Tuesday. There it is. <laughs> so that code is valid for the rest of the year. So for those of you who watch later on on YouTube, you can go ahead and take, take advantage of that in 2022 GSP for 15% off. Which means you have like seven months to do that in. That's right. You have no excuse. I mean, it's that that would be definitely somebody being like, "Ooh, is it valid in 2023?" You know, there's always somebody. Watch the chat. Give it. Uh, right. Give it a minute. Sixty right. seconds. It'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like the. Uh, dial is down there now. We are on our own clock. Versus the uh, versus the rest of the event. I think I think you're right. We need to 
bring <laughs> Nano Antonio. A dog show tomorrow, but a dog fight today, eh? That's I right. I see what you did there. <laughs> you got to get through this way. No. Yeah, but he needs to kill Manaru as well. Without those four points, this yeah. is a lost cause. Hmm. So Richard is still the first player. Uh, Whisper has not shot Shazbot GG, my boy from Shy Town. Shazbot GG, uh, Whisper has not shot once this game, and this is the first time we're going to be decloaking. We're, we see Whisper decloaked finally. Don't know if that's the choice I'd have made with that decloak. You want it to go I think this you, way? I think you come out and you bank in. Leave yourself more opportunity to get range. Don't be up close because he has the op opportunity here to shoot way past you if you did the hard right in. That's true. Or if he did a slow maneuver, two bank to the left, two straight, and you turned the wrong way, you've now gambled incorrectly. Yeah, I think what he's maybe... I mean, even, even a, a one hard... Like I said, you're saying, so if, if Whisper one heart If here. Wh Whisper one heart gambles wrong, and he looked at that, yeah. he, he has the five straight, and Whimper, Whisper goes the wrong way. Yep. You're right. There it is. Ooh, There's that, that might, two bank. That might be a block. That might be a block right there. Oh, you got that. That's fully executing for sure. That's beautiful. Maybe. Maybe Richard just went like 4D chess and he actually busted the K turn. Right? I know you're never supposed to K turn with a phantom, but I, when you do, you can make it count. I this mean, be it right here. I've seen Tyler Tippett do it once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got, they, and they got the th they have space. They have the 3K, not just the four. Well, and even the 4K, he's got the space. Look where he's at in the rock. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got it. But I'm saying if you want, like, range one. That 3K does look pretty tempting right there, doesn't it? Sabine, where are you going? Sabine's turning. Oh, onto the rock. All right. They just called time in the round for everybody. Minus a stream table. <laughs> That seems like a bad decision there. It's unexpected for sure. You're, you're, you're guaranteed a damage. So let's gonna go take ahead and do that. We're going to take one. She's fully healthy as well. And Takes take two. two. So gave up the shield for the maneuver to trade, and you're going to do that again next turn. Well, at least one more. And that's might be going the wrong direction. Not going after Manaru is a is a bit of a problem, right? You that, need that seems like you've missed your your win condition there. I think he's hoping to have range to that box, and that looks a little short. <laughs> I, you know, not knowing how much time's left in the round is going to be a problem here. What? What? Did he reload? He's he reloaded. Reloading. Uh, he th he probably thinks he has more time. Yep. Yeah. It's happened to the best of us. Yep. Yeah. Mismanaging yep, yep, yep. time happens, and now that we're not allowed to know, and mm -hmm. that extra three minutes or lack of three minutes changes how that perspective works. And he went to the outside here with Whisper. He was betting on the long run. He was betting Ehav was running. Yeah, he was that, going for that four. The, the, that like left D bank, straight. one bank in, looks really pretty there. Because mm -hmm. it puts you behind that rock for a little bit of protection. You still get your shot, and it gives you amazing decloak options for the next turn. At their current pace, they might not get the next turn. <laughs> well, they don't know that. They're still yeah. playing the long game here.
Oh, it looks like in the new rules, they've also changed the way obstacles work a little bit. Obstacle, before a ship moves, if it is overlapping an obstacle, it does not suffer the effects of moving through that obstacle Ooh. again. Again. So you only word. have to hit the rock once. once. You yeah. don't get to hit it twice anymore. Yeah. Okay, that seems a little nicer, considering yeah. the rocks are significantly more deadly. I liked it. I liked it. I was like, fine. This is fine. Like, keep it hardcore. Why, oh, no. See, why I, you got to be a baby about it? See, I would have liked two dice rolled. And whatever you took, you took. Uh, because there was still, in 3D space, there's a chance you flew over the rock and didn't hit it. True, true, this, true. This is still 3D milky space we're talking right, about. Right, right, right. Oh, landing mode. Yeah, we're going to park this... Uh, uh, so, Nano Antonio, remember, we are not using the most updated rules today. So, that's that's... That's not for today. The and cutoff for rules was Wednesday. And my ter terrible hypotheticals don't help the situation. <laughs> <laughs> X-Pov with sound, yes. With sound, definitely. <laughs> How else would those seismics sound so awesome? Bow. This is going to be the last round. I think. I think at, they're at their current two, pace. I two think minutes so. left. There. I don't think they're going to get through that much shooting. And with the uh, time constraints they have at this uh, this venue, um, they're they, not going they to make the, the system, system phase. phase uh, that's the game's over. So this is uh, Maul into Vendor for three hits so far. Mm -hmm. Full string. My life for Triple. focus token. Oh my goodness. So Vendor goes down and that, that's, that's a lock. That's it. That, that's, a, that's a lock for the game. And he still has possession of two boxes, correct? Mm -hmm. So he will have his points at the end of the round. Button 2 asking about the, the saying they're currently out of the game. A lot of changes. There, there's been a lot of changes but, I mean, you still flip dials, move ships, and roll dice. Like, it's it's the nitty-gritty details is where things have changed to trying to find balance. Stream table, final round! Well, did they do all their shots yet? Yeah, they finished. They, they finished. Sir. Okay. I, I think maybe he didn't understand what I <laughs> meant. Like, no more shooting. Stop. You're done shooting. Throw all their ships off the table. Yeah. Flip the table. Oh wait, we don't have that button in this setup anymore. No. <laughs> I've never had the joy of pushing the flip the table button. Yeah. <laughs> So 2v5, that seems mm -hmm. bad. Night Beast. One hit against five dice. What are the odds? I believe. There it is. The odds say no. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two on both sides. Final score of 20 to 10. Congratulations to Kevin Norton for getting the win. Thank you to ISO. Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.